Hello and thanks for joining me today on today's unboxing and initial first opinions video. Uh, today is going to be the Sandvance Optimal Single Seater Drop Stitch Inflatable Kayak. Brought it direct from Sandbanks. This particular one I have brought was a X demo item, so I'm not expecting it to be absolutely brand new, but I'm expecting it to be quite nice and clean. Uh, the box has all arrived safely, I had it delivered to work. It's been battered up a little bit, so I'm hoping everything okay inside. So, first off, you'll see it's an absolutely massive box. Ignore that bit there. One of my dogs decided to nibble on it because it thought it was a dog food delivery. It's about 20 kilos, so it's quite awkward. But you do get a paddle, a pump, and obviously the boat in there. I have already opened it to check the contents. Uh, everything is there, so let's have a look together. Right, so upon opening the box, I'm immediately quite happy and impressed with the fact that everything is all sort of in cellophane. And there's the boat, there's the bag down the bottom in you can get quite a nice looking pump with it as well which is quite impressive so uh, let's get a few of these bits out of the bag and uh, see what I make of them so we're going to start with the seat which is pretty much a generic kind of seat me filming this one-handed. Looks to have quite a high back on it. The face is soft. I would like a little bit more padding than that personally, so I'll have to make a few adjustments. Looks like a fairly complicated lashing system for it, so I'm sure that'll be fun to work out. Let's put that to one side and keep going. Next up we've got the pump, which looks like quite an impressive bit of kit. Uh, it says SUP4 pump by Bravo, high volume pressure hand pump suitable for paddle boards, up to 29 psi. So uh, that looks like it should do the job quite nicely. Let's get it out of the bag in a moment. So inside the pump obviously you get the air hose which seems to be a quite good quality seems to be quite flexible but also pretty strong it's the usual uh, paddle board or drop stitch kayak attachment I think you call them Hagee Roberts and obviously that then screws into the pump itself and that then goes to the boat you do get a additional attachment or rubber seal should we say um, no idea if I'll need it, but it's good to have. Um, there's a gauge underneath there, which is nicely protected by a little bit of foam cap and a little bit of plastic. Satisfying peel. There we go. It appears to have two modes. Double action and single action. So I assume you use the double action to get the majority of the air in, and you'll flip that over to a single action to get the high pressure that you require. But overall, it seems quite a nice pump. And uh, the only way of really testing it is uh, pumping up the boat a bit. So. Uh, That'll be coming shortly. Stay tuned. I'm just going to take a minute, sort of halfway through this unboxing, just to say how impressed I am so far with the quality of everything. It just feels premium. Um, so that's good work, Sandbanks. I know it's not exactly the cheapest boat in the world, but I've got this at a very, very reasonable price. I wouldn't say a great price, but a very reasonable price being the next demo. And uh, so far, so good top work. But also inside you get this uh, very vibrant orange tube. It says repair kit on the bottom, so I'm going to guess it's a repair kit. So you got a bit of material that the boat's made out of, which is a little bit mucky. 
obviously probably would have been an X demo that's uh, to be expected. Yet a valve removal tool. Hopefully you never need it, but it's always good to have. And also quite impressively, you actually get a tube of repair adhesive. Now I've brought quite a lot of boats in the past, to which they all they often come with a, bit, with a bit of material like that, just so you can glue it back together until you get a puncture, but they never ever give you the glue. So I'm very impressed with that. It's a nice little touch. It probably costs sandbanks very little just to include that, but it just makes sense. So take note other inflatable boat manufacturers. You heard it here first. There's no red section uh, of repair strip. And I'm wondering if it should come with some because obviously the boat is red and white. So if you get a puncture on the red bit, it'll be nice to patch it up with a bit of red. No. But that's probably just my OCD. We have the paddle or the oars, whatever you want to call them. And hmm, I've been screaming quality the whole video so far. That's going to let us down. It is a four piece paddle and it packs away very, very small and it obviously fit inside the case. There's a lot of, a lot of give in that. The drip rings are of a very poor material. I mean, it is metal and it does have quite a nice action to the lock. Mm. Underwhelmed. Oh, ice cream van. Moving on. So yeah, now I have uh, assembled that. It, it's just oozing cheap. So this paddle is poor. So the next thing out of the box is the skeg. Seems to be of okay quality. Got a bit of flex to it, which is what you need. It's quite a long skeg, so uh, I'll be interested to find out how it tracks without it, with the scope of potentially buying another one and uh, cutting it down. Bag, and my goodness, it is huge. Um, looks to be very good quality. Material is all nice and it's got a, a separate lining on the inside to the outside so it's not just that ripstop material all the way through. Various um, straps so once you're all zipped in you can strap it all together. Big zippy pouch on the front to uh, fit even more gear in. More straps at the bottom to uh, secure it once it's all packed in. One of the problems I did have with me the previous boat, um, which is the Itiwit X100, uh, one of the drop stitch floor, as I like to call it, a banana boat, is I can't ever get it back in a bloody bag. Make the bag bigger. You fold it and fold it and fold it. I mean, there's people out there who probably can do it better than me, but I just can't fold it and fit it in. So I'm quite happy with that. And I very, very, very much anticipate and expect the fact I'll be able to fit it back in the bag. Um, which is a good thing for me, um, it's a good thing for the wife because I don't have to leave my everywhere. Insert beeping noise whilst editing. Big handle on the top, so you can obviously lug it around. Handle on the side there. Uh, interestingly, rucksack straps as well. It's on wheels. So, uh, might even use it to go on holiday and the amount of stuff you could fit in that. Will be quite quirky for it to have said. Um, sandbanks kayak style but obviously that's not their logo or have a little picture of a kayak on it maybe but yeah overall the bag gets a big thumbs up from me and actually the back panel has got a sort of a foam insert to it so it's squidgy so that's quite nice if you were to wear it on your back um, it shouldn't be too painful but you've actually been waiting for the boat itself got the logos on the side and for a X demo or X display once again I am very happy it's all been nicely wrapped up and cleaned if it didn't include the paddle 
supposed to be getting a uh, thumbs up on every single part so far so I really shouldn't be slagging it off or including a cheap paddle so uh, let's get all this cellophane off and roll it out Right, so immediately the first thing I notice about the boat is how hard that nose cone is. That's brilliant. That is really, really strong and rugged. You've got some grab handle at the front. Luggage strap. Looks to be two inflation ports. Oh, I was actually pointing at the rear end while it's things, yeah, because that's the lashings for the seat. Got a nice logo on the floor there. I'm going to have a nightmare keeping this clean. Because it's, it's so bright. Moving up to the front, another luggage, luggage strap set. And obviously a nice hardened nose cone. And another grab handle. One thing I would have liked to have seen straight off the bat. Where's my side handles? It's a one seat kayak. You're not always going to have two people carrying it. It's going to be one person. So I'm hoping, once it's inflated, you can simply grab your hand underneath that and treat it as a handle. Here's to hoping. Interestingly, on full extension, the pump handles are a good with whole hand. So probably about five and a half inches apart. So I'm hoping the Bravo pump uh, is a lot better for my back because I absolutely hate pumping up by hand. Uh, thankfully the wife brought me an uh, electric pump for Christmas and that has been the best thing that I own. Let's blow it up. The valves, if you're familiar with stand-up paddle boards, very similar. That's in the deflate position. That's in the inflate position. So down for deflate, up for inflate. Interestingly, there's no inflation order on these chambers. Uh, I've connected to the top chamber at the moment, to which I don't really know if that's the right one to pump up first. So I'm going to take it out of this one and put it in the floor one, just because it makes more logical sense in my eyes. Let's pump. I am impressed. I pumped up surprisingly quick. I have quickly off camera tried lifting it like that, and I think that's going to be the way forward. Interestingly, they're uh, confident enough in their products to uh, put a mobile number. So underneath there, you're not going to be able to see, but there's a tiny weeny bit of storage. And the same in the rear. There's a drain bung underneath your seat. If you are in any particularly choppy, choppy waters. Yeah, all in, it's looking good. It's got a V-shaped bottom to it, so there is the element of rock, which uh, all of my previous inflatables have had solid flat bottoms. So uh, this can be an interesting experience when I take that out for the first time. I could well be in the drink. Right, so the seat is in. I'm impressed with the, uh, the height of the back that, that seat's got, so that's going to be uh, superbly comfortable. Going to have to do something about the uh, cushioning on the base, but my uh, bottom's going to be very numb, I think, in that, that extended periods. 
I haven't got a clue how to strap the seat. And there are some lashing points there and the same on the other side but it just doesn't give you any any room on these straps and there. The straps are so long so I thought to myself why not utilise the rings on the back here and that ain't going anywhere. I'm quite happy with that. So uh, I'm going to sit in it for a minute and see what it feels like. Um, first of all, thinking I'm going to need some form of brace. Mind you, that's not too bad. It's got a bit of a, a rock to it. But overall, this thing is uh, very, very solid. Looking forward to getting this out in the water and trying it. Can't quite get the seat how I want it at, at the moment, and given, given a few adjustments and a few trial and error sessions. And on a uh, repacking note, I deflated the boat, folded it up the same way it came out of the packaging. That fits, the seat fits, the pump fits, the panel fits, the seg is in there as well, and I've got absolutely acres of additional room. So I reckon you could easily fit a decent sized PSD and probably a dry bag in there of you, your lunch or tea or snacks. That is a huge plus for me. You can pack it all away, zip it up, leave it out of sight, out of mind, and then when you come to wanting to use it, you simply grab it a whole lot, wheel it to the car on the wheels, chuck it in the back, and you're good for a day out on the water. They've really put a lot of effort into this, and it shows. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching me set this uh, vessel up. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel where I will take it out for its maiden voyage and uh, see how I get on. Um, in case you haven't already sort of sussed by all the positive vibes of this video, I do really like the look of this boat. The only thing that will take a bit of getting used to, I think, is the, uh, the tippiness. So, once again, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I hope this has helped you uh, either decide I'm going to make a purchase, or uh, I think I'm going to try and look for something different, because this isn't, isn't what I want. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.